All right, we just need to rest up for tomorrow, but we'll check the pantry this is... for those ingredients. All go sugar. Ooh, all go sugar from the all go sugar. Wait, from the bloody all go thing. <laughs> Alrighty. Sure. Good night. Eight fourteen. Oh, late night. Never mind. I thought it was skip the day. Oh. Oh, good. You're still awake. What's going on? What's the matter? Can't sleep. <laughs> well, that is rather the problem. I'm wide awake. Once we're back tomorrow, I'll sneak the formula back into Luis's room. Even if he suspected us, he so figured brave. out that we got to the capital and showed it to Rella in a single night. He won't find out about our mission. You never know, Luis is quite the uh, switched on man. I should probably have Juno return any Amagla keys we got in the Caradris too, just to be safe. You know, we forgot that, didn't we? I'm a bit surprised. I thought I was fine doing all that infiltration at Luis's place. Turns out I wasn't. Finally having others who know the truth, and having gotten to see my sister. I didn't realize how exhausted I am. And you personally saved me from danger back there. I'm terribly grateful to you. That's all good. You're lucky, that's, really. That's what followers do. Oh, well, friends. <laughs> it's like okay. That's the forbidden text you mentioned in Luis's room, is it? I've seen him reading it from time to time. But how how would he still have it? I still don't understand how he has it. What's it like? Can I read a bit of it? Sure thing. Wow, it's like a party. It's like a reverie. The prevailing culture of the world is one of freedom in all things. No faith, fealty, or philosophy enforces ideology. <laughs> I wish. All are free to create, and all are free to embrace those creations. This culture's influence spreads throughout the world. It is even said that a song of peace was powerful enough to bring an end to war. I wish that as well, <laughs> especially oh, now. How inspiring. It's hard to imagine that a single song could be so influential. I wonder what the world would be like if a song really could reach all people's hearts. No matter their status or tribe. We, Nydia, we're all liars, you know? Hmm, is that why Alonzo is so, uh, <laughs> you know, a bit shifty? Everyone told us we were inherently worthless. Damn. Just a fact of our birth. So I learned some glamours to make myself at least look valuable. Now look at you, Juna. I mean, obviously I understand it's come from like a, not a happy place, come from a dark place, but still. This form. It's all just a fancy disguise, really. A gilded mask for the world to admire. Or not. No, do forgive me. That was all lies, lies, lies. I don't think it's necessarily a good idea to reveal yourself entirely. But you should always have the freedom to. If these new powers are to give form to my ideals, I want to create a world where we can appreciate each other's freedom. I'll make sure everyone hears that in my songs. No matter what happens. That's good. Juno and I talked into the night. We form the bond now. Time marches on. Never mind. And the age of a new king draws nearer. So we still actually haven't formed the bond yet, which means Juna is the only one who can learn the mask dancer. I think that's the case, right? Now, and now our face appears on the rock. The next challenge. Ooh, here we go. Let's find out where our fierce competitors are bound. Isn't that the capital the of some other place? The 20 candidates with the current highest approval on the King's Rock will be the only ones to proceed. All others will be disqualified. 
Solid. Yeah, because not everyone would be able to make it to Brawlhaven, actually. Sea monsters, it was just a giant squid, mate. Like, come on. If you just use some fire on it, you know, you'll cook it to calamari or something. The trailer, Luis. Okay, so Godot is still third with his massive forehead. In the end, everyone but Luis is just representing the Sanctus Church. What's your point? I dare say that's a relief. We'll finally be done with all this chaos. A return to normality. Ha! Normalcy. Funny how it's only the rich who miss how things used to be. Exactly. Now Count Luis has the people behind him. He'll save the common man. Uh, I don't know if he'll do that, but, yes, you know. We're all keeping it can make you believe that he'll do that. from Luis's faction, but we do have one standout who's seen a stunning jump in popularity since the exhibition. Yeah, I went from, like, couple K to, like, 20, top 20. responsible for exposing the sins of the sanctuary, Joanna. Valiant human slayer. Yes, it's the young elder. <laughs> right. Wasn't expecting that one. Nameless to famous in a single night. Just like that, he's in the top 20. Yes, I am in the top 20. Oi, cry a man. Where's the wind bag? The wind bag. The one what acted all high and mighty over a tiny human head. Oh, he is, he's dead, bro. Oh, right. That Gladell or something. No sign of him. Probably saw the writing on the wall and dropped out. Yeah, that's, that's, that's one way to, that's one way to put it. <laughs> it was all talk then. It's a disgrace to the Rusan, hiding his inadequacy behind Luis's authority. I guess another way to put it. Only one in the spotlight. We've a rising star by the name of Katharina. Holy shit, is Katharina ahead of me? Some big ideas, that girl. I hear she plans to put a price on every wealthy head if yeah, she takes the throne. That's not gonna go down well. And what's wrong with that? If they're sitting on most of the kingdom's money, they can afford to hire a little extra security every day. Let them sweat it out. Let him sweat it out. Now here's the a scouser. We've got a Mastari candidate still in the running. And my sources what? say they a hail him. Well, well. Virga Island. A pagan islander. Interesting. Yes, filthy barbarians. Besides, nobody could compare to Lord Nilo. Of, of course, glitzy woman would say that. The final roundup's actually looking pretty diverse. We're just about ready to announce the next leg of the race. None of us, a Mastari on Virga Island is in the running. Interesting. They wouldn't specifically mention that, so we know everyone except for that character, so. Be interesting to see who it is. Because, yeah, so, so far. That's the bell. Thank you for waiting, ladies and gents. It's time to begin the second round of the tournament for the throne. Yeah, so so far, like, we already knew about Heisman being in the party in Juno just because of watching all the trailers and stuff. Uh, at least I knew about it. Um, but the remaining two party members, or two or three party members, we don't know. So we're still missing... In terms of seats on the Gauntlet Runner, I think there's still two or three seats left. So there must be two or three more, right? And I don't know who they are. First of all, congratulations to the 20 who have won their places Which is exciting. Hopefully, you know, we you get to meet them now soon. officially the winners of the first round. Let's give them a hand! Maybe Katharina will eventually become a party member. Even if he does plan to take over, suppose he's still not eager to play by their rules. I haven't seen Juna this morning either. I heard some nobles say she had a job suddenly come up. Better that the audience doesn't see her with us, anyway. Yep, that's true. Now, at long last, we are ready to announce their next challenge. This time, the task for the candidates is... Recovering and offering a divine relic! Yeah, okay, so they did go with the divine relic plan to snuff us out. A relic? Oh, that's the Mystery candidate. Looks interesting. Don't worry, we're happy to explain everything. I wonder why they You're wear the mask and stuff. It. So, 
We've arranged for you to hear it from an unforgettable voice. That must be Juna. To tell us more, please welcome to the stage our guide, our songstress, the lovely Lady Juna. Her sudden obligation revealed, I suppose. <laughs> Chosen heroes. Your Alterberry Heights. Is Alterberry Heights. The capital of the Principality of Montario. Okay. I still love how Hogenberg is like a massive fangirl of uh, Tuna. The deadline, with a divine relic in hand to offer the Sanctus Church. Tragically, there are still heathens in this land who choose to reject Sanctism. They care nothing for salvation. Yeah, typical. They cling to strange idols. Oh, Rudolph is still here. We got Milo, Loveless, Jin. But their rituals are unstable, and their relics just primitive magic tools. It is time we put an end to this misguided witchery. Take these relics from the pagans' grasp and bring them to the birthplace of sanctism, Alterberry Heights. In Montario. So what, we're just going to take from the Pagans, so what, we're going to the Virga Island? Because right didn't that lady say the Pagans, the like how do they have a candidate? May all our aspiring heroes be blessed with good fortune and the favour of God. I pray for your success. Well, I mean, they wouldn't mention Virga Island for no reason, and plus that island Look, that didn't look like Alterberry Heights on the map that Luis had in his in his thing, right? So that must be Burger Island. Focus, Iceland, focus. <laughs> By the deadline of the second round, Alterberry will begin the festivities for the autumnal Montario Saints Day. This two-day event kicks off on Saints Day Eve, with the main celebrations on the day proper. And this year's event will be historic. His Eminence, Sanctifex Forden, will be personally sealing the collection of the Pagan Relics. To celebrate, right. the songstress Juna will be dedicating a ceremonial song. You won't want to miss this, folks. Now, ladies and gentlemen, on my mark. Let the second round of the tournament for the throne begin! Alright, second round of the tournament for the throne. Alright, let's get to it. So we need to get a divine relic and bring it to um, Alteria Heights. From pagan land now. That's plunder. They would steal our very culture. Yeah, see, there you go. That candidate's a Mustari. Small wonder he's so aghast. Forden stooping to a new low. Oh, that's for sure. What do you mean? By and large, the Mustari are a pagan people. Their relics are cultural touchstones, vital to their hearts and faiths. And Forden's just ordered us to loot them as we please. Classic, classic Forden. We won't even know what we're doing until Luis gives the order. Either way. We're bound for Alterberry. Alterberry Heights. We've a long trip ahead of us. Oh, my shoulder that hurts. is far east as well, I don't isn't care it? If it's the crown theocracy. You'd think they'd ask me a little sooner than the morning of. Still managed to put on a hell of a show for him. Oh, Fidelio. Lady Juna, Count Luis has sent for you. And you lot too, I suppose. Come on, Fidelio. We're all in this together, brother. Looks it's, like our first jobs come in. At least Basilio's nice-ish. All, <laughs> all right, what does Luis want? We're back, Lord Luis. Funny, isn't it? Since the Gladell incident, you've been inseparable from this gang. Hey, Fidelio. Well, na na na. One has to keep one chauffeur in line, don't you think? Oh, well, even Fidelio is like, you know. At the Sanctus Festival. Good on you. Thank you, Basilio. See, at least one of the brothers, Thanks. you know. Though I don't know if it's worth celebrating. Oh. 
<laughs> Basilio's like, what? It's to keep Lord Luis in check. Putting me on stage the whole time might keep you from crashing their Saints Day party. And if we try anything, they'll use it as an excuse to blacklist you. Just the kind of shite you'd expect from those Sanctist stooges. You need fear nothing. It is Forden who now stews in his dread. That he seeks the divine relics is common knowledge. But who would simply give up an idol on par with the god's reverence? Mm. He has all, all but commanded that we, that we take, take it by force. force. Pretty much. The king's magic ruined his schemes. You humiliated him in the public eye. And in one desperate final grasp for authority, the fool has placed his fate in my hands. Yeah, so he wants the divine relics. Forden's game will soon end. Because they, they must be powerful or something, the right? He deserves. Oh, what are you planning to do? Yeah, what do you mean finale? What do you mean a finale? What? Do you need to hear it repeated? I will give Forden his death. Well, actually, I wasn't there at the time you made that speech, so it's the first time I'm, I'm hearing of it. <laughs> You'll see soon enough. For now, you need only follow my order. Wait a second, he has a way of Your killing other candidates? On my behalf. The artifact in question is a lance known as Dracodius. Dracodius, Draco okay. Dios. The Draco implies something to do with dragons, I presume? Holy shit. It's like a dragon lance? Suffice to say, the law behind this particular relic intrigues me. You will acquire it in time for Saint's Day and bring it to me. Then what about my relic? I need a relic as Pretty well. Pretty high stakes, my lord. You sure you want this crop of novices on the job? Rest assured, my other agents have their own relics I've assigned them to pursue. I have no urgent need for this lance, nor for them, should they fail. Oh, it is a lance. I'll go along and keep an eye on them, shall I? I only you mentioned Dragonlance because Dragonlance is from like Dota 2. <laughs> what? You certainly are attached to them, aren't you? Jealous, well, Luis? It's their first formal assignment in your service, after all. I can be your eyes and ears. So be it then. You may act accordingly. Oh. Thank you. Fidelia is like pissed off. He's like, nah. Why doesn't he I get the Where treatment? Can we find this fancy lance? Find your clues elsewhere. You have nothing further from me. Prove you think as well as you fight. May we both find success in the pursuit of our shared vision. Dude, this guy. Ah, dude. Dude, imagine the boss fight against this guy. I cannot wait to hear the final boss theme. Like the final boss theme of like, remember when Rivers of the Desert started playing in P5? Dude, I can't wait. All right, we need to find Dracodios. All right, so there's a few things that I want to do first. Uh, one of them includes setting up our party, I think. I do want Juna in just so I can level her up. But it seems like... Does that mean I can unlock the Mask Dancer? No, I can't see. So the Mask Dancer must be, yeah, but other people can't, yeah. Okay, that's fine, but I can unlock others for... Oh, mate, so that's fine. So she... What's her magic stat, actually? Is it even stronger than mine? Magic is 29. No, it's not even stronger than mine. Oops. If I go equipment... Yeah, so it gives her plus 5, 34. If I go magic... Yeah, some... Yeah. So, question is, do I want to keep on going a magic build, or do I want to keep on going a strength build? I could do endurance and luck and stuff like that, but we'll see. Um, but yeah, anyway, let's uh, kid her out for, for now. Anyway, uh, what do I want to do? Oh, I can't even TP anywhere. Alright, search for clues about the divine... Lance. Then. Hmm. Okay, we'll check the tavern then. We need to talk to Mistari because they they're the people of like the divine relics, right? No Mistari there. 
Maybe the bartender will know. Taking a boat to the island, he must be headed towards the coast by Merchant's Bazaar. Okay, so can we TP now? Let's go. Nice. All right then. Let's go. Yeah. Hey. All right, go. All right, we're here in Merchant's Bazaar. So they were saying a Mustari was was yelling some stuff. He's taking a boat. There we go. This Mustari. Okay, it's not him. Okay, where else can we go? Wonderful. Should be here somewhere. Oh, there we go. This guy. That guy was part of the uh, royal tournament. I can't believe this. He would have them all take what they please. This same atrocity all over again. Damn him, and damn his crown theocracy. He's in quite a state. Though I can hardly blame him, with everyone ordered to ransack his homeland. For now, how to approach him? Yeah, why don't we team up? They've really crossed the line. Hmm? Wait, you're not with the Sanctus Church. One of the few who aren't, it seems. No, I am with Lord Luis, which I don't know if it's better or not. I don't know much about divine relics, but I know all too well what it's like to see your homeland threatened. I do like how Stroll just straight up asked him, like, were you the one who the didn't, you know, provide faith. support? More than that, they are the soul of our culture, our history. Followers of the old native beliefs worship idols that are known to conduct magic, which they call divine relics. And believe that the staff was a divine, but divine the relic. Neither of modern times, they are primitive in make and function, and often dangerous. So said my studies, at least. Oh, far from it! Divine relics aren't primitive in the least. That's just sanctus propaganda. Really, it's the opposite. Most of these relics are powerful beyond belief, and igniters are just our crude Ah, uh, yeah. Classic. Them. Sanctus propaganda. If you'd ever seen one yourself, you'd know the difference. They don't call them divine for nothing. With powers like that, they might as well have come from the gods. Ooh, I'm very interested. Can I grab that, uh, Dracodus for, like, uh, for, uh, Hulkenberg? Or for the knight class? You said for the crowd. Well, a job's a job. But as I'm sure you're aware, pagans aren't the only ones oppressed by the church. You really are well informed. And it sounds like you know something of oppression. Did you perhaps come from the Mage Academy? Details, darling. I've seen abuse of powers before, and I'd rather not see it again. Dang. The other candidates seem bent on taking relics by any means necessary. But you... you all seem different. To be fair, we are looking for one. The only relic we know by name right now is Dracodios. Dracodios. The Lance of the Dragon God. So that's why you came up to me. I suppose anyone would want our homeland's greatest treasure. Oh, it's the greatest treasure. The Interesting. No secret we're trying to hide. Truly, I hope mainland has come by the scores to see Oh, it. okay. Here we go. Is on an island in the world tree's embrace, where the Dragon God sleeps. On a clear day, you can see it from this land. Holy shit, is it that big? An island across the ocean. Yeah, I told you we're going to Burger Island. Island That's that that must be what Luis was looking for. Oh, Luis is marked on the map. Sea. Most of its inhabitants are Mustari, and it remains the only place in the land where sanctism has not taken root. I'm not out to abolish sanctism myself. I just don't want everything we believe in to be destroyed. 
So that's why you're in this race. I thought I could change the world. And then I saw the truth. What a fool I was. Don't worry, a lot of that shit happens. I haven't introduced myself yet, have I? My name is Edeni. Edeni? Okay. Take my advice. Forget about Dracodios. We can't hand it over, and you'll never reach it anyway. We never take it by force. But what do you mean? What do you mean we'll never reach it? No ship would carry you there, among the first of many reasons. Even so, it's no place for an outsider. It's time I stopped chasing a fool's dream. I need to face reality. And if you're smart, you'll do the same. Hmm, okay. Well, no? sounds like Draco Dios is on Virga Island somewhere. Is there really no ship passage there? This is the biggest port in the kingdom. Must be just really dangerous that people just don't. Like, can't be fucked going <laughs> sailing in the sea. Thanks to both sea currents and cultural tensions, the only merchant ships passing Virga Island embark from Montario. Yeah, of course. And um, that's where we need to actually go. Montario's on the other side of the bloody sea. You can't seriously be suggesting we go there first and then loop back to Virga. We'd never make the deadline. Then let's bally well conquer this inland sea ourselves. Oh my god, new ass. <laughs> Don't worry, chums. I'm on the job. Here we go. Are we setting sail? You oh. worried about Lady Juna? Actually asking this time, not just prodding. Shut up. <laughs> Tell. You still don't trust them, do you? How can I? We've only known them for a matter of days. Your brother does have a point, Basilio. Look, the whole Gladell mess. You really think they're innocent? Mm. Then let's go with them, yeah? Me and you. Oh. You do whatever makes sense to you, Del. You know I'll follow wherever you go. Hmm. <laughs> you never could keep your mouth shut, eh? <laughs> what is that supposed to mean? Oh my god, they actually are going to follow us to Virgo Island. Uh-oh. Imagine that awkwardness in, uh, on the Gauntlet Runner. Holy shit, he's made some upgrades. Now watch the Gauntlet Runner's arms paddle. Watch them paddle. Wait a second. You're not saying this thing can sail now. That's 100% what he's saying. Quite right. Quite right. old Luis's soiree. I had his run all to myself, and believe you me, I got quite an eyeful. Came away full of ideas. After all, this old girl wasn't designed as a land runner alone. All about modular design, don't you know? Flexible jointage. So I did a bit of tinkering. Bit of tinkering, eh? Why? We'd not even spoken of the island until moments ago. That is true. Island Schmiland, milady. Look at the map. What's our shortest route to Ontario, eh? A straight shot through the inland sea. Uh, uh, that doesn't sound like a good idea. <laughs> a man has a point. That never dawned on me. Besides, I've kept my ears open. What? Here there be monsters and all that rot? You'll need more than a ship for these waters. You'll need a proper sea runner. Oh, right. Nuris, you weren't at the exhibition, so you wouldn't know. Forden already killed the big sea monster out there. It had a huge head. Oh, nice. Really? Don't tell me you're making the trip in that. Oh my god, they actually are coming with us. Why are you two here? Juna's like, fuck. <laughs> uh oh. Bodyguard duty, Lady Juna. We're along for the ride, especially since you're bound for some remote wild island. These poor newcomers are working so hard and you still can't trust them. Or is it me you don't trust? Nah, it's gonna be like Lord Luis agreed to it. We're here on Master Luis's orders. There we go. I'm sure I don't have to outline the peck in order there. Or do you have a problem with us being around? No, no problem that whatsoever. Uh, we're running short on beds. This is gonna be super awkward. Oh, don't worry. Del doesn't take up as much space as me. Oh, Belto. Besides, you really expect this rust bucket to survive a night at sea? Well, do you still want to come then? Or, <laughs> like, you, you want to back like off? It, leave. Nobody's forcing you to come. You tell lies, mate. 
Looks like we're crewmates then. Not unlike a sea voyage for a bit of fun, yeah? This is a fine mess. Wasn't expecting them along. What do you think their angle is? To Garjuna, they still suspect us. <laughs> they're big. They're just big on sailing, brother. Nah, they still they suspect us. They probably still suspect us. I agree. We definitely crossed a line with the whole Gladell incident. Well, it's not my fault that Glid Gladell tried to kill me, and then the king is like, "Nah, can't do that, brother." Suppose that's that, eh? I'll do a last check on her amphibials and make sure she's ship shape. Uh, give me a shout when you're ready. On the amphibials. Alrighty. Uh, All right, then. Yeah, I wanted to get like more potion stuff from the inn, but I cannot, so that's okay. I will stock up on potions and stuff a bit later when it's uh, idols day. Ready to depart. <laughs> Alrighty, let's go. Need to go to Virga Island. Wow, it's gonna be a four-day trip. Island is this spot right here? Wonder how many days away it is. Well, it says four, didn't it? How many days? Day one. Main island of Malnova Archipelago, almost wholly Mustari inhabited. The isle has only minimal contact with mainland. I zoom out. Yeah, so there's like different islands here as well. That's pretty sick. And then we need to go to Altaberry, which is here. There's a lot of like areas up above here that we haven't like necessarily been to yet either. Anyway, let's get going to oh. this place. Four days and three nights. Okay. I hope Stroll can handle it. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Set sail in the Sea Runner now. I wonder what it looks like. Oh, I thought it was like it was gonna paddle or something with the with the arms, but it's just like a jet, which is fun, I guess. It is actually moving. A fine effort. Good on you, Nearest. Was it ever in doubt? You're the master of the helm, my dear. Virga Island, eh? Hey? Well, I can say it's wholly foreign to me. Tis a land within an archipelago, where many Mustari live. I've heard their faith involves a special maiden of some kind. Special maiden? How have they managed to avoid the church's influence? I doubt they have the manpower or arms to fend off the crown theocracy. Well, they are on an island, which definitely helps. And they obviously are well versed in divine magic, There's I would assume. something there that could overturn history, as the Sanctists tell it. Ooh. Something so damning, they couldn't even afford their soldiers seeing it. So the rumors say at least might just be a conspiracy theory. That'd be interesting. I want to As see what's what's going on. Lance, we shall need to negotiate. If negotiations are even on the table. No, there's no way they're going to let us have that shit. <sighs> Why all the fuss? Just kill them and take it. No, mate. Nothing else works. Yeah. Keep it simple. Okay. 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 All right. You two little. Kill, kill, kill with you two. <laughs> you tell them, Juna. Hey, Lord Luis's orders. Don't need to tell you, do I? Yet you didn't pune Count Luis's reputation with wanton massacre. Simple, was it? Tell him, Iceland Hulkenberg. Ugh, give it a rest. Are we there yet? Hard to talk strategy with those two hanging around. Yeah, because all those two would just be like attack, attack, attack. Ladies and gentlemen, feast your ears on this! The elder boy candidate seems to have crossed the channel to the island! On a gauntlet runner too! Is he alright? They say the waters are clear of monsters now, but... That's why I'm doing it, mate. If he made it, because Sanctifex forward and uh, killed, again. killed the giant squid. <laughs> I have to say, I expected at least one daredevil to try plowing straight through the inner sea. But I never thought it'd be that boy. That's the same lad who exposed that lady from Martira, isn't it? He's not bad. The Virga Islands Yes, give me more rating, please. Treacherous. Even the crown theocracy struggled with them for years. So how will this shake out? 
The festivities have just begun. Alrighty. The gauntlet runner takes to the water. The sea runner. Setting out to the wide open sea. Their destination, Ferga Island, an enigmatic foreign land that not even the long arm of sanctism can reach. Not mm. all present now would count themselves as allies. Will this prove difficult? Or something else? I also remember in the bottom right hand corner of the map, there's like a giant head. So, like, what the fuck's going on with the giant head? Got his fishing gear. You can fish? Well, let's see. Hazme sometimes leaves fishing gear on deck, which you can use to fish. Can be used as ingredients when cooking. That's pretty cool. Alright, cool. So, it is Metal's Day. So, we'll do our typical stuff. Cool. We can use all that sort of shit for cooking. Um, do I have any more recipes? I do. <coughs> All right, so let's go to the bookshelf. Actually, I want to talk to Fidelio. What's going on, friend? Seriously. Okay. Well, looks like you're not a very good friend. <laughs> All right, let's go read the book. Um, what the hell? Top secret poetry. So Juna added some stuff. Um, but let's go Pride and Persuasion. I think we're nearly finished it. Which means we'll get plus... What do we get? I don't even know what we get, but we'll get plus eight of whatever we get. Shock their senses. How would you go? Pretend to cry, stare them down. Well, stare them down is definitely not gonna, not gonna do anything. Wait, what's? Wait, what did, what did she say? Uh, no matter what you say, they'll remain unreceptive. Okay, so pretend to cry might work, but we'll just try and scare them. Okay. Just like what you do with people in hiccups, right? <laughs> That's out of persuasion. You just need to scare the shit out of them and then you're good to go. Ooh, rank 4 eloquence. eloquence. Nice. Huh. Oh, okay. Looks like we have not the finished yet. And the stars begin to reflect off the water's surface. The gauntlet runner reaches the shore, lurking below the surface, in the black and fathomless deep. I've had this like, yeah, just a bunch of little islands and shit. But the party, safe inside their gauntlet runner, relaxes from the burdens of their voyage, gazing out over calm waters. Shell camp. Oh. We'll arrive three days from now. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> we do need to be careful what we say. I don't think I want to talk to any of them, oh. to be honest. Dinky little Gorton runner. Alright. Okay, let's just finish off that book because I don't really want to say anything in front of them. We'll get plus eight eloquence. What's that? Putting things into practice. Even if you follow the technique explained so far to the letter, refuse to budge, fancy words. All right. Now, what do you think of this? Plead with them, treat them coldly, yell at them. Just yell at them. Look at that. Plead. Amazing. Amazing. Yeah. So there's always a correct answer. So just All reset right. if you're not getting the correct answer. But you should always get plus four. Oh my god, eloquence is going to be the first one that we max. You watch.
All right. I feel like my understanding of the world has changed. Oh my god, this will be our first maxed uh, royal virtue you watch. Time marches on, and the age of a new king draws nearer. Goodness. Mugginess, mugginess is my worst enemy. So there's two seats left. Sure. Yeah, so that means we have two party members left. Yes. <sighs> oh, I don't think so. <laughs> Hogenberg just wants some sparring partners, doesn't she? All right, it is Idol's Day now. I actually have read something online for Idol's Day. Barbaric. Yeah. Okay. That's not what they say on the uh, on the peeps there. Now I have read something online that apparently on every Idol's Day, if you're in the Gauntlet Runner, you can actually go to the bathroom. And if you use the toilet, which doesn't take up time in the day. Yep, I've seen the truth of the world. <laughs> That's like me after I take a shit. You actually get a guaranteed plus one luck increase. Now that is guaranteed, apparently. I think that's just pretty. I think that's pretty funny. <laughs> but if you just take a dump, you get a guarantee plus one. So that's pretty cool. Um, so definitely use that to your advantage if you want to. All right, we're gonna be reading top secret poetry. Do not read. So I skipped the. You probably didn't see the cooking stuff in the uh, in the video because I'll cut start cutting that stuff out. Oh, I gain more courage. Yes, let's read the book. Clusters of cryptic phrases and abstract drawings. Got shivers running down my spine. Raw creative passion. Ooh, plus five into courage. Interesting, okay. Still not rank four though. You lot aren't going to believe the view I'm seeing outside. I'm hitting the brakes. The gauntlet runner halts at a sandy hollow that suddenly arises from the sea. The towering seawall. It is not an island or a reef, but a mass of sand expanding below sea level. Oh, there is no sign mass of sand expanding below sea level. Well, there that's are pretty many cool. places in Oceania where the laws of nature fail. But here it is especially But the laws of nature fail, so it must be like an infinite waterfall or something. As though it were gouged out. Ooh, that's gonna be that's gonna look spectacular. Like a spectacular. Monsters roam the deep. And tales of people being dragged below. Okay, yeah, let's not be one of the people who gets dragged below. Oh damn, okay. Towering seawall. Well the party's there. This is what Magla normally is capable of. It's the same principles that maintains the water sphere and Brawl Haven, but by Jove, this is on a whole other level entirely. <laughs> you guys <can't> want to go back to the runner? Hey. Nope. Damn. <laughs> There's fish swimming in the wall of water. Yeah, it looks pretty sick. Huh? Enough. You know, thinking about spearfishing. I was merely considering how I would secure today's allotment of rations. <laughs> you mean who does it remind you of? That yes, well. be sure to catch some so we shall dine well. <laughs> Yeah, we don't want it to collapse on us, but yeah, it's pretty cool. Just the art and like these like landscapes and stuff is just really sick. Here. Towering seawall journey. As the water sparkling in the setting sun begins to lose the light shimmer, 
the gauntlet runner reaches the calm surface of the reef. Yet the day draws to an end, and all are left to wonder how to spend the evening hours. Idle's Day Night. What terrible rain! It will be a storm soon enough. Can this vessel withstand it? Oh, I got no idea. Let's do it better than me, at least. Oh God. Suppose we do, oh Forden. If only because he handled that sea monster. Closure, a closure, etc. What the fuck? Did we hit a rock out there or something? Back in a mo, I'll go sneak a look outside. Oh shit. Those fool brothers are still abed. Even in this tempest? <sighs> Bloody Parapus. Almost makes one empty. <laughs> Bloody Parapus. Right, I heard. You aren't too fond of the Parapus. Oh. They both had horrible upbringings, those two. But they really do have kind hearts behind the glares. Horrible upbringing. Oh my. Their lives for mine countless times. Oh my god. Don't tell me they've got like some sad ass backstory. Dude, this game, man. <laughs> make me care for everyone. Time. What I could do to repay them, and they came over all red faced. We'd like to hear you sing, Lady Juna. Your voice is awful pretty, Lady Juna. <laughs> is this a joke to you? You think an outcast Ujif is in no position to speak ill of the Paripus? What? What? No, I didn't mean. <sighs> Bloody hell, how does anyone sleep on this old bucket? You feel that shaking earlier? Huh? Could cut the air and ear with a knife. What were you two on about? Just sharing life stories. Tomorrow's supper. <laughs> Everyone's life stories, I suppose. Indeed. Talking about how I dislike the Paripus. You and the rest of the world. Or do you think you're special? It's very interesting how um yeah, like a UG who is also kind of an outcast dislikes another outcast. We don't have to keep dancing around it, do we, Del? Why can't we be straight with them? Just come out with it, yeah? Tell them you still ain't sure that stuff with Glottel was on the level. What the fuck? Okay, are you Basilio? If even we're suspicious, there's no way Lord Luis hasn't worked it out already. Not that it matters to me, anyway. Still, I had to make sure see for myself whether Lady Juna is on our side or not. Holy shit, okay, they just straight up said it. Uh-oh. We're in trouble, aren't we? Something's out there! Oh, fuck. Look outside! It's a monster! A great briny beast! A great briny beast! Oh, shit, okay. I think I know which boss this is as well. This was part of the, uh, the boss demo. <sighs> Alrighty. So yeah, this was part of the boss demo, and I, I, I'm pretty sure I know what it is as well. So, okay. Um, alright, so let me set up my party to, I think, I think I know what this is. Um, we'll find out. Uh, well, I'll cut to it, but I'll set up my party, and then we'll go and try and help Nearest with whatever that piece of shit is outside is. <laughs> Alrighty, so let's go and confront this, uh, Unsightly beast. Oh, we can animate cutscene. Oh, damn. Yeah, it is the boss that I uh, saw in the demo. Oh my god. Fidelio. No way. Does he actually take Fidelio? Saving you, brother. Yeah. Sam Basilio is dope. Just chop that tentacle. Make him sashimi. You alright, Del? You realize this changes nothing. We're still. Still don't trust me, brother. Fuck. Is that a human? That is a human. Don't charge straight at it. We've got the arms. We'll clear them out of the way. What? <laughs> Got it. If we don't kill the thing, we're all sunk. Don't get used to it. Oh, are they gonna help us? 
Come on, let's go. It's such a good thumbnail shot. <laughs> All right. So this was part of the boss demo. And I'm pretty sure... Do we get Bombardier, actually? Does that still count? No, we don't. So I'm pretty sure the tentacles are all weak to... Uh, um, Kande. So, to switch out party members during battle, press L1 to access the order me view, then select party. Switching members consumes one turn icon. Alright, but with Bardens, uh, rank 7, it actually consumes half a turn icon. So, that's pretty cool. But yeah, it's pretty cool that you can switch teammates mid fight. So, obviously, actually, let me just test my theory that it is weak to lining. It'll be pretty. Oh. We might be in trouble. We might be that they're weak to fire. Uh oh, we could be in trouble. But that's all right. Um, let me battle cry. And I think they're weak to pierce as well. But that's fine. If we can get multi attacks, that's all good. So it has to be Gabotra, right? Oh, they're all weak to like their own stuff. Okay, they could be weak to their all their own stuff. Oh wow, they actually did nothing. I'm just gonna chill in the back line for the entire time, bro. So is it the blizzard? Go. No. I'll give you the I call upon a royal soul. So they're not weak to anything? Which one's the weakest actually? Or have I just been all bloody using them at the same time? Closing the distance. Sword okay. Let's go okay, around slash them. If that's all the damage he does, I think we're fine. I think we're more than fine, actually. Oh, so the main head is weak to electric. Get another turn. And then we can fire this leg. Can, whoops. Yeah, round slash this guy. Nice. Chop them up. It's weakened. And this is what we're going to do. Oh, we can't do Skyfall Bolt. Oh, I really wanted to do that, but we'll do Candy Yarn. Get him! That's 1400. And then we'll do Kandera as well. I do remember he was weak to lightning of some sort, but it must have been that one. I feel like I'm quite OP at the moment, but some of those bosses before, like, I did definitely did not feel OP, so I don't know what the hell's going on. Kande, you. Are you prepared? Uh, battle cry myself. I shall Got three turn icons, so you know what this means. Severe magic electric damage to one enemy, consuming three turn icons. Let's do it. Let my power support you. Oh, so see, this is the first time I'm using a trip. A triple. Oh my god, he just kind of whisks away. Oh my god, 3k damage And I can do that shit again. I'm gonna do that shit again to end it. No holding back. Danzo. Defeat Sihor Homa Sabara. You, you, you're Danzo. Nice. Sabara Saka. That sounds very weird. Nice. Cool, nice. I have never not trembled I feel before me. Tremble before me. See, see, I don't know if I just want to fully invest just into magic, then you know, screw the screw the physical archetypes. But if I see the thing is I I'll need stroll in the party if I'm gonna go physical, I feel like, but yeah. Anyway, we'll see what we can put our points into later. Either he lied. We didn't know. Maybe the humans are spreading faster than anyone expected. I feel like Forden probably oh, just has no fucking clue, man. Really 
That sure was magic, even with no igniters. Guess that's the kind of power that kills humans. <sighs> and you can do it too, Lady Judah. Well, I picked it up from him. You know I've a knack for improvising, love. But we'd never have gotten through this without you two helping us. Thank you. Did they join the party? Dude, oh my god, are they party members? Like, is, we do have two left. Is Fidelio and Basilio party members? You too, Fidelio. Don't mention it. Wouldn't have survived otherwise. Oh. Wait, something's amiss. I still hear water flowing, but it's coming from inside the runner. Blast! We're dipping awfully low! Oh Getting shit. It's soggy in here, chums. Hold on, we're sinking. You've got to be kidding. Bail the water. You two, help us. What? You can't just order us. Oh, this bloody rust bucket. Well, I mean, if you could procure the Caradrius, my friend, <laughs> we wouldn't have be having this issue. Time marches on. And the age of a new king draws nearer. Flames Day. <sighs> Long day yesterday. Very happy we are still afloat. That is definitely true. You're right. Alright. I guess we could do that. Alright, we shall tend to open up more. Alright. Okay, cool. Hmm. Your thoughts? Indeed. Because we're already maxed out stroll, so we don't really need any of the I, I don't even think this gives points. I think it's just like a little cool thing. That reminds me. I'm gonna be sick. He's feeling unwell. Oh, hold on. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I get seasick as well. So I know, I know what you're feeling, Strolly. Maybe the princess truly died, and the fault lies with me for failing to repel such an attack. Such thoughts became my constant companions during that time. Hi. Searching for his highness was my stated goal, but thinking on it now, perhaps I was simply looking for an appropriate place to die. Well, the prince is alive, but you have allies now. There's no need for you to die. Sorry. <laughs> Brothers Magnus. <laughs> Oh, of course. Ooh. Wait, you actually get something? Narwhal's Horn. Wow. Quite some time ago, I passed through a port town and received this from a fortune teller. Supposedly, it wars of the sea's myriad dangers. Damn, another gold item. Sick. Now then. Alrighty. We are very close to Burger Island. 1450 mag, that's pretty good. As the clear surface gives way to the glassy ink of darkness, the gauntlet runner reaches a remote island. The party gets a good night's rest, grateful for the still land that does not sway them at its winds. Thirty-six degrees, Jesus Christ, that that heat. Islet camp. Alrighty. Luma B. Okay. Um, we are going to be reading a book. I'll read the poetry book again. So we can finish it, so we can hopefully max out uh get rank four courage. So what is it? Top secret poetry? Actually, hang on, let me check that item. Right, so after some testing, you can hang out with literally any one of the group, um, and they will all give you the same item, but instead of saying, like, Holgenberg gave it to you, it'll be whoever you hung out with gave it to you. 
So let's just read Top Secret Poetry and uh, get our uh, plus five courage. Clusters of cryptic phrases and abstract drawings filled the page. Was this written in some sort of trance? My very soul screams. Mm. Now then. Raw artistic passion. Surely I get rank full courage. Duh. Courage. Tis one of the virtues a ruler must possess. If thou aspire to true sovereignty. Cool. And then we got rank four courage. Time marches on, and the age of a new king draws nearer. Luis has sent an emissary to Virga Island. As nope, the not happy about that one. It's the elder boy who brought Joanna to the judging. Hmm. So he stands with Luis then. No doubt he seeks Dracodias. A gambit to steal the public's gaze, perhaps. Taking a prize from the only land beyond the church's reach. <laughs> Laughable. The reason we leave those barbarians alone is that we've nothing to gain from them. Mm. Your eminence? Mm, merely a passing thought. Ooh. Let him chase the lands. It changes nothing. With the dawn of Saints Day, your eminence's authority will be unshakable as the mountains. As long as we tell the public that these divine relics truly originated in sanctism, yes. That's yeah, right. Uh, you basically just wiped out a whole religion, man. Good on you. Under the protection of the king's magic, some of them may use that as a shield to sow violence and discord. I am aware, your eminence. Please leave everything to your humble servant. To your humble servant, because I am Gido with a massive forehead. Oh -ho. Hot and humid. Yeah, it was like 36 degrees, brother. Thought like the climate was supposed to be a bit cooler. Narrowly escaping the threat of the sea monster, the party rides the currents of the inland sea to their destination, Virga Island. Virga is a word given to the island by the mainland, meaning uncivilized. But its inhabitants give this name no purchase. Put another way, we are trespassers from a country that has unilaterally regarded the islanders as heretics. To forget this is to invite pointless conflict, as though it knows it is unlawful. That is true. The gauntlet runner glides silently onto the island's less populated Rear shore. Damn, Nuras has done his research. 41 degrees. Jesus Christ, even looking at them, I'm bloody sweating. Even they're sweating. I can't take this heat. It's enough to cook a man alive. Ugh. All my air fur is stuck together. <laughs> air fur. Go this way. There was a beautiful beach just over there. Chin up now, my lady. Easy to get a good backstab when you're coming up behind them, see? There will be no stabbing, back or otherwise. Honestly. <laughs> Honestly. It's true that coming at them head on would only alarm them. First, we need to find out where this lance is. You can bet the runner won't be spotted here, eh? Got the wide ocean on all sides. The old girl's not exactly unscathed from the beastie's clutches, so I'll stay back for a spot of repairs. No worries, Nurus. What? Who's there? Oh. Are you from the outside? What What's the wrong? hell? Who is communicating with me? I thought I heard a voice. A voice? Who's? I've got no clue. Oh, that salt air gets your head. Oh, shut Our up, mate. Here already aren't looking too good. So, how do we find this lance? Ideally, we blend in with the locals. Gather information. Yeah, we definitely don't blend in with the locals. We're really not my story. Sorry, that might be a bit tricky. Let's see. To start with, we could try staying hidden and observing the village from afar. Sounds like a right hustle. How many days would you have us playing hide and seek? <laughs> Fair point. Fair point. How long can we actually stay on this island? Well, got no clue. The deadline for September the fifth. It would be best to get the lance and leave by September the fifth. The sooner we're out of here, the better. Let's go. Alrighty. 
Okay, let's go explore and hopefully blend Does in with the Mistari. We may be a bit lost. Oh my god, we just went around in circles. Where's Fidelia? Oh, there, she, there is. Yeah, I was like, what the, what the fuck? Give for a snack and a cold talk to dump me out in. Need you voice every little complaint. You are not the only ones enduring this trek. <laughs> Quiet a moment. Oh, running Heis water nearby. How's making like Yeah, I was space. like, how do we get lost? How's making here? Everything. What? Really? Let's head that way. Phew. I suppose we might as well if we're lost. Oh my god, another cutscene. Nice. Wow. Two anime cutscenes. Much clearer than the capital's water too. Celia looks so happy. He just dunks his head in. Brilliant. I could use a dip to get the salt off me. Who are you? Jesus. Can you hear me? Then surely you must be a messenger of the dragon god. Uh, I don't know about that one. I'm imagining things. <sighs> Whoa, who's that? Is she wait? Is she actually there? Could it be a villager? Oh, Can she is actually that? there. Priestess. Hmm? What? Oh fuck. Hey, Del, let's go. The fuck? Are you just leaving me? You're not of this island. Wait, listen. Seize them. Oh my god. Oh yeah, we just got captured. Fuck me. What the hell? Was that actually was that actually a person there or am I just like imagining things? What's going Behave on? Behave yourselves. Now, you. You're a candidate for the throne, are you not? Hmm. He had to steal Dracodios, no doubt. And not content with that, you befouled the priestess's cleansing pool. Holy shit, that was a cleansing pool. I didn't mean to drink it, mate. <laughs> Did we just drink her bath water? <laughs> Fastest trial I've had. Calm down. <laughs> Fastest trial I had. First off, you can't kill a candidate. Have you not heard of the king's magic? You beg for your life in vain, wretch. Wait, do they have the way of I'm told the doing it? Well, Louis did say that he has a way of killing Forden, so, I'm you know. not getting out either way. But who what is that lady now? with the three it eyes? the brothers have fled. Perhaps they've gone to report to Neurus. Hmm. I doubt it. Those thugs are here for the lance alone. They care nothing for us. Astute. Very that. astute. Can't return without the lance anyway. But I'd rather see if we can break ourselves out instead of counting on them to save us. But what do you think? The way, like, they're not going to save us. I find it strange that they recognized a candidate at a glance. I wasn't expecting news to travel this far. Probably my fault, I'm afraid. They had a lot of questions, and they weren't uh, gentle. Oh my asking. god, the cries here, bro. Batlin. Well, fancy meeting you here. The fuck are you doing here, mate? Jesus Christ. But the thing is, they did say that it was a candidate on Virga Island, and it was of the Mastari tribes. Do you think that was her? That was probably her. Like, yeah, it's pretty obvious it's fine. <laughs> Uh, I was hoping the word of the crown theocracy might be worth something here. Turns out, they prefer chains to questions. But why are you here? Why else? I heard some helpless, boneheaded twit of a candidate cross the waters to Virga Island, so I naturally had to follow. I'd thought stowing away on that Mastari candidate ship might get me safely on the island, and... Well, oh no, so the Mastari candidate that. is the, is the, like, the rook-looking one with the rook helmet or something. Okay, never mind. But I mean, she must be, well, she must be Mastari in point. Does that mean the Mastari don't show their face? What the, wait, what did you say? We may as well be patient. You'll have your opening soon enough. The people here, well, you'll find they aren't as monolithic as they'd like. Wait, so does that mean the Mistari wear masks because they have three eyes and it creeps people out or something? Or or is it similar to like like Doctor Strange's third eye where it's like super powerful and they don't want to endanger anyone? Anyway, we'll I guess we'll find out.